always kick things off with a man who is no stranger to the observer. Let me say a pleasant good evening to UNC Senator Wade Mark. Pleasant good evening to you, Mr. Mark. Yes, a pleasant good evening to Mikey K and your viewership and your listening audience. Thank you so much. Hope all is well on your side. I know you were out for a while, but good to see you back in and as yes. always fighting. Thank yeah, you Thank know. You. You, you called for a, a, a probe into Nikon, and, and, and you know, when, every time I hear Nikon, it reminds me of the uh, WGTL project. And, yes. and, and you mentioned, of course, that an independent criminal forensic investigation, uh, you made it quite clear, of course, that it was a scam of the century, and you claim that approximately U.S. $400 million were wasted behind the establishment of Nikon. How did we get here, Senator Mark? Well, Mike, Mike, the first thing we need to pay attention to as a nation is this. You know, there's this old saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. No, Trinidad and Tobago was caught or got sucked in two decades ago in what can only be described as a pipe dream. The pipe dream was hatched in New York by a chap called David Laurie, yeah. who coincidentally contacted a fellow called Kenneth Julian on this dream of gas to liquids project, where they were seeking to experiment with the production of fuel, sulfur free, green fuel. Nowhere in the world have we ever had such an experiment. Trinidad and Tobago was being led into this particular experiment by this chap, a smart man, out of New York called David Loring. That was in 2004. And between 2004 to 2010, the rest is history. Under the Patrick Manning regime, we invested through loans and bonds something like about three plus billion TT dollars. May I repeat, three plus billion dollars into a WGTL plant, a gas to liquids project. And Mikey K, at the end of that period of 2010 when the PNM debated office, all we had was crop iron. And we, the taxpayers, you, me, and all the children of this nation yet to be born, have been saddled with a debt of three billion and mountain. And the decision makers at that time, the former prime minister who is now deceased, and may his soul rest in peace. But they are living souls currently in the administration in the PNM as we speak. I refer to the Prime Minister, Dr. Rowley. I refer to Colm Imbert. I refer to Camille Robinson Regis. All of these people were part and parcel of the decision making process. And when we sought, as the People's Partnership, to recover monies because of the recklessness of Malcolm Jones and his gang involving PM, ministers led by the former prime minister and endorsed by Rowley and Animbert, we sought to get back $1.2 million billion. We sued through the attorney general's office on the advice of a fellow called Vincent Nelson. We sued Malcolm Jones and the entire Petrotrin board for that reckless decision for $1.2 billion. And as soon as the PNM came into power, Mikey K, they withdrew that civil suit against Malcolm Jones and promoted him 
to be a member of the energy, the steering committee on energy. I give you this background picture to let you know that we were, in fact, fleeced by this PNM administration. That is why I have deemed it and dubbed it as a scam of the century. But, because but, they, let, they but, knew. Let, but let me ask you this, Senator Mark, and, and for those who are locked on, this is quite, I mean, it, it's, it's very, it, it, trying to make sense of this. At, at that point in time, all we had to do, as far as the deal, was provide what we had, and that was the gas. Uh, yes, you know, we, we had limited interest. It was something. But what baffles me, and I'm sure many people are saying, when you started off, this has no history of taking place in any part of the world. This is something that was not happening. Here it is. We had that WGTL. Why is it that it's so important to get back into this if, in fact, we lost so much before and now coming back, coming back with it rebranded as Nikon. Is there some obsession with trying to make this thing work and to benefit whom? Yeah, well, you see, that is the issue. That is why we have to call, that is why we have called for an independent criminal forensic investigation because it appears to us that this particular project touched by the PNM with their friends located in New York is a cash cow which you have milked in order to fleece the taxpayers of billions and billions of dollars. Because here it is, we spent three billion plus and we got nothing in return. So where did the money go? Who gained from that three billion dollars? Who were the beneficiaries of it? So I'm saying that having had this robbery in broad daylight, between 2004 to 2010. You want to tell me, Mikey, you haven't learned anything? The same prime minister who is now in charge of the government was then a member of the Patrick Manning cabinet that approved this failed project. You come back and you supervise, now known as Nikon Energy Trinidad Limited. And what is even most alarming about this exercise is that they sell the entire kitchen sink all the utensils to these people led by a fellow called Ainsley Gill a PNM lobbyist in Washington and who was deemed the visionary founder of this scam called Nikon Trinidad Energy Limited listen Mikey K it is almost like a crucifixion of the people of Trinidad and Tobago by this criminal mafia gangster administration, where they have just continued to rob the people of their hard-earned taxes through, through what can only be described as a fleecing exercise. So here it is, you come back in 2012, you make a claim for the scrap iron, and by 2019, you have it. Inbot signed off to give the scrap iron to this company called Nikon. And in addition to signing off, these people were able to give them the following benefits and incentives. They were, not, they, they were given the ability to run a plant without paying any VAT. They were given the ability to run a plant without paying any duties on customs or imported goods and services via customs. They bought gas at a peppercorn rate of 365 per MMBTU. They, were, they, 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 they did not pay any withholding tax. All the products that were produced, purportedly produced by the so-called Nikon plan plant, that is the diesel, zero diesel sulfur, um, sulfur products, all were taken by Petrotrin, right? 100%. They get water at a peppercorn rate. They get free electricity. Now listen, you get land over four hectares of land and you pay a peppercorn rate of rent every year. 
You take that same land that belongs to the people located at Point Pier, and you go to Republic Bank with your note holders in order to borrow over 175 million US dollars, which is close to 1.3 billion dollars. On what, Mikey K? On your land, on my land, on the people's land. And you know how much I say they pay for it? 35 million dollars for a plant that cost us over three billion dollars and over the 35 million dollars us they got 25 million us in preferential shares shares which is a loan of the people to this company called nikwan so all they were able to pay us was so-called 10 million US in cash. And Mikey K, we are not even too sure that we ever got the US $10 million that jumping up in a bag. But here it is. We are being told that these people were able to get monies on the back of the taxpayers' real estate at Point Pier. And who were the players involved? Jo Junior Sami Group, right? Teachers Credit Union, the Port Employees Credit Union, and San George Abud and Sons. Then you had a number of note takers or holders. And when you listen to the names of these note holders, you want to know what kind of due diligence was exercised in order to grant these people all this U.S. millions and millions and millions of U.S. dollars. Scotia Bank, Republic Bank, RBC, First Citizens Bank, JMMB. All of these people extracted tens of millions of U.S. dollars from 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 who from you and me because what was done by kk they use our real estate at point appear as collateral mm -hmm. republic bank was the collateral collateral agent for the note holders so at the end of the day these fellas took the entire kitchen sink and all the utensils and you know you know what is most grievous of all the sins that they have committed my kk they have now gone to the icc which is an international arbitration body located in the united kingdom to do what my kk they have now accused the government and people of trinidad and tobago and the Trinidad and Tobago upstream, downstream company of breaching their contract to supply them with gas. And they are now making exorbitant and significant claims on the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago amounting to possibly hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, because so, you, you're talking about, Senator, at, at that time, I believe it was over U.S. $21 million was yes. owed by Nikon at that yes. time. And, and, and yes. you see, the, the thing about it, I don't know if we as citizens have become immune to hearing all these millions and billions, and, and when we start to make the conversion, when we hear it in U.S., and the fact that we are faced with um, the middle class has been wiped out. People are just simply trying to survive, keep their heads above water. Uh, we have senior citizens before they even get uh, the little pension or whatever at the end of the month. That is already spent. And we here as citizens, we hear all of this money, all of this wastage, all of this finance being hemorrhaged in. And at the end of the day, no one is talking about it. Prime Minister makes a trip and he comes back. And these things are not addressed in any press conference. So what is left for us as citizens? And as you said, the, the TT Upstream Downstream Energy Operations Company has now taken, I believe, to, to the ICC, demanding the fact that we did not supply the gas. Exactly. And as a result of that, they have won their matter 
at the level of the ICC, the chairman of the ICC in this arbitration matter involving the government of TNT, Naikwan, and the Trinidad and Tobago of Shrimp Dong Shrimp Industry have already given a decision. And the decision is the government of Trinidad and Tobago had no right to discontinue the supply of natural gas to the Naikwan plant. What does that mean, Mikey K? It means that these people are now going to make significant claims for breach of contract. They are going to make claims on the amount of losses that they have experienced. We don't know what is the value of the losses that they will be putting in as claims. Would it be hundreds of millions? Would it be billions of dollars? And then the outcome in the United States, the, the parent company of Nikon called Nikon Energy LLC, they have now gone to the similar body in the United States called the Body for International Settlement of Disputes. And they are saying that the government of Trinidad and Tobago is in breach of the bilateral treaty between the USA and Trinidad and Tobago. And they are making claims too for hundreds of millions of dollars. So, Mikey K, when you believe that they have fleeced us three billion and above in the first original WGT, WGTL plant, now they have come to fleece the taxpayers apart from all the street heart agreements and deals and incentives they have now come back to fleece this country of billions of billions and billions of dollars in claims coming from the icc located in the uk and the international dispute settlement body located in washington so as all this is going on we are being told we have to pay property tax. We are being told we have to pay new water rates, new electricity rates. We are being told that our cost of living has now reached what is called bottom level. People are now living almost in total abject poverty. That is where we have reached under this criminal, mafia, gangster type government of Trinidad and Tobago. And it is the poor people, the ordinary people, the middle class people, the small, micro and medium sized business people that are paying a tremendous price for the paying them robbery and open theft. The reason why our country is in so much crisis today is not because we don't have the money, Mikey K. Mikey K, in the last nine years, this government has spent over 529 billion TT dollars. That is over half a trillion dollars, Mikey K. Where has the money gone? They have stolen the money. The, the, the problem in Trinidad and Tobago is the large-scale theft of the Treasury and, and, and by you're the right. PNM government. You're right, that Senator. Is what is the Senator, you're right. Where has the money gone? Because the money has not gone to finance the family who had two vehicles and now have none. The money hasn't gone to finance the vacations for people who are trying their best to put their shoulders to the wheel for a productive TNT. The money hasn't gone to healthcare. The money hasn't gone to national security. The money hasn't gone to infrastructure. So whose pockets is the money lining? That's the thing we have to be asking. That, and that is why, Machike, a new administration coming into office must have a comprehensive, independent, criminal, forensic investigation on where our money has gone. Because I am of the con I'm convinced that if a proper analysis and investigation is done, every cabinet minister led by the prime minister they came in as poor members of parliament and each one of them now is a multi-millionaire and i think the head of government if a proper forensic investigation is done on his wealth he is in the billions and billions of dollars and that is where our money have gone go on. i, I, I they, agree they, with they, you they, they have stolen our country's resources and then they're coming out to bleed us Listen, the people of Trinidad and Tobago have to rise up. The people of Trinidad and Tobago have to stand up. The people of Trinidad and Tobago have to wake up. And they have to riot. 
with their finger. You see that index finger? They have to riot with that finger. And when the general elections are called in, in well, it must be called by the 7th of August of 2025, or the latest, the 7th of November of 2025. Whenever it is called, Mikey K, before 7th of August or before the 7th of, no of November, the people must riot with their fingers and get rid of this criminal, mafia-type, gangster-type government that is doing nothing uh except to promote their own selfish interests at the uh expense of the masses of people I, I in agree Trinidad with you. and Tobago. I agree with you, Senator. I don't think that a room full of Hollywood writers could write what's taking place right now. I mean, you're telling me that, listen, we tried with this thing. It was a total failure. Initially, we were told all we had to make uh, as far as a contribution is what we already had, which is gas. It cost us billions of dollars. You come back with it, rebrand it, take the old wine, put it in a new bottle, and then now you're telling me, listen, we were in breach of the fact that the gas supply had stopped, now we need to get monies out of this and we are going to be claiming large sums of money. I mean, come on. I mean, yes. people treat you how they see you. And apparently this government and the people who are their financiers and their friends and their families see us as fools. It certainly exactly. does not add up. Exactly. So, so Mike, the, the reality is clear. This is a scam. This is a con job. This is a scheme to rape, to pillage, and to really extract from the people monies to put in their own pockets and to advance their own interests. And they use these projects as cash cows to fleece the taxpayers so they, they can enrich themselves illicitly and corruptly. That is the end result of that Nikon exercise, or what I call like in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, we have what is called Act 1, Scene 1, with the WGTL, and now we go on to Act 1, Scene 2, with the Nikon Trinidad Energy Limited. But it comes to the same thing, total robbery of the people of this country by a criminal, gangster, mafia-type PNM administration. I hear you. Let me ask you, before we go, um, you said that all bona fide UNC members would be able to participate in next month's elections. All bona fide UNC members are eligible to participate. And from my information, you, you know, sometimes you can misplace your party card. Right. Um, once your name is on the list, you work with a particular form of ID, a valid form driver's permit, your passport, your ID card, and once your name is appearing on that list of electors, you are entitled to register your vote for the candidates of your choice. And as you know, I am fully supporting the honorable leader of our great party, Kamala Prasad de Sessa, and whoever she goes up with as a team that will be announced, I would imagine, shortly, I am fully in her corner for victory within the internal elections and working doubly and triply hard in order to ensure that there is victory at the polls when the general election is called so we can get rid of this blight, this, this, this actual albatross that is weighing heavily around on it so that the people can exhale once again in TNT. Closing comments, you have some, a few seconds, go right ahead. My closing comments is simply this. The government of Trinidad and Tobago has failed the people. They have been reckless and irresponsible. It is not a question of money, Mikey K. We have spent over half a trillion dollars in nine years. The question is not money. The question is priority. The question is seeing about the people health, seeing about the people's education, seeing about the people's quality of life, and not dismantling the people's quality of life, giving them 4% increase over a nine-year period. That is criminal conduct on the part of this administration, and they have plunged the quality of life and the standard of living of the people as never seen before in our history as a developing nation and society. So we have to stop them. We have to, we have to crush them. 
and we have to even take the opportunity whenever we have elections, by elections or general elections, to use our index fingers to riot and to get rid of this albatross that is weighing heavily around the necks of the people and allow them to breathe one time, once again, so we can have freedom, we can have prosperity, we can have dignity, we can have equity, we can have equal opportunity, and we can have expansion and growth in our economy where every creed and race shall find an equal place. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Senator. Keep up the good work, and we'll be checking in with you periodically.